Hello and welcome back. All right, here we go with the makeup tutorial. So right now I'm moisturizing my face. You wanna make sure you start with a clean palette. So, you know, after rehearsal, you have those couple hours to get ready. Please make sure you clean your face before. If anything, at least just clean your face. Then put some moisturizer on it to rehydrate because you've been out in the sun. All right, now we got our foundation, which is awesome. We got this Ben Nye palette which will be really great. It's a cream-based foundation, so it will uh, last all day in its full coverage. So you can either take a disposable sponge or maybe you brought a concealer brush with you or maybe have a flat brush like the one that I'm using and blend that all over, all over your face. You want to really make sure that you're blending everything in uh, and making it look like you don't have anything on. Um, later, if you want to add concealer on, if you, you know, have a few blemishes or dark circles that you feel uncomfortable with, um, just go ahead and add that over top of the concealer and, or over the foundation and, again, blend it in and make sure that you're not creating a line around that jawline. Really blend down into the neck <clears throat> and around the chin area to make a nice, clean face. Alright, next we're going to move on to our uh, e.l.f. palette. So you got a bronzer and a blush here. We're gonna use our bronzer first over onto the cream. Uh, that'll lock the powder on there, okay? So we're using the bronzer to uh, create a nice uh, definite contour. So we're gonna go right underneath our cheekbone. So it's probably like middle of the ear and down towards your mouth, the, the top corner of your mouth, okay? Then we're gonna go in with our blush and we're gonna go, I'm smiling, so I'm going on the apple of my cheek. Um, so a good way to do it is apple of the cheek uh, and get that blush uh, nice and blended in. So more is okay on this because uh, we're, we're going to go over it with powder in a bit and more is okay with blush because you know you are on a football field and uh, you want the audience to be able to see you from far away. Okay, so now we've got this translucent powder, and this is to set everything. So we're doing our creams and then our powders, and uh, this is our, our last powder to set our cream foundation to make sure it doesn't smudge or smear or anything like that, okay? So we want to make sure that, if, that you did put that concealer on, that, you've, that you're all done with any cream product. You're finished using it as of right now. And again, I'm blending all over making sure uh, cover all the areas, even over the eyes, the nose, the mouth, everything down into the neck. Okay, now we're gonna move to the eyes. So we're gonna start with our Illuminate, or Illumination uh, eyeshadow, or I'm sorry, Endless Pearl, excuse me. Uh, Endless Pearl eyeshadow, and that's gonna go all over the lid, okay? So you wanna make it uh, noticeable, you wanna make it stand out, because it is, you know, it's a lighter color, so, Pack it on, okay? Don't be afraid to really, really apply that found, that eyeshadow. So I'm using a brush right here to apply it. Uh, if you don't have a brush, your finger works, you know. You could keep using that disposable sponges or they make disposable uh, eyeshadow sponges too. Uh, just to really get a nice good layer of that color there. Because I do want to see a difference, you know. It is, it is going to be different compared to your skin, okay? If you do have darker skin, maybe don't go as dark, you know, you make it look make it look natural. That's the idea, is to make it look natural, okay? Okay, we're gonna go in with our second color here soon, and we're actually gonna use the bronzer from your blush. We're gonna use the bronzer from your blush to create uh, a crease inside on, in your eye. So we're just gonna go, I'm just gonna go back and forth in my crease. So how I'm holding my eye, it's really easy to see that crease there, okay? We wanna make it nice and um, blended in as well. So a brush really works well for that. If you, you know, again, if you don't have a brush, finger, eyeshadow, disposable thing, sponge, it all works great. But we really wanna make sure it's blended. And you can see how you can see the difference between what's on my lid, what's in my crease, and what's on my brow bone. You wanna be able to see those differences. So it goes light, dark, light, okay? So is it's going to be a light color. You're not going to have too much pigmentation here, but it's going to be a noticeable difference. And if you end up putting too much of that bronzer in, you can go back over with the Endless Pearl and go on your lid or on your brow bone and, uh, you know, highlight those areas again too. 
Okay, now we're going in for the eyeliner, okay? This is the most important part. So I'm using this liquid pen. So it has a felt tip end, which is really awesome. And we're gonna make a nice wing look, okay? Um, if you're not totally comfortable with the wing, practice, okay? And you know, I get it, like I'm practicing everything else. Um, might, as, might as well tack on one more thing to the duty list, but just take a second, you know, maybe after you get back from rehearsal, whip your eyeliner out uh, and practice the eyeliner, just the eyeliner. Hop in the shower, you're gonna get in the shower anyways, so what does it hurt to throw some eyeliner around to practice? So the way that I'm working on this, I'm kind of making, I'm kind of make a V um, from the, out, the outside of the corner of my eye and I make, a, I go up a little bit um, and I'm making really small little strokes. I can always go back and make the nice straight line. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a nice little point here at the end. And you, there you can see it there. And we wanna curve up a little bit, okay? So when you make, when you make your V out, don't go straight out towards the side of your head, go kinda of up towards the end of your eyebrow. Okay, so I'm making small little strokes as I go across here. This is like the most, you just gotta concentrate the most here, right? So small little strokes to make those, uh, that bold eyeliner, 1950s cat eye look that we've got going on here. And again, we're making it we're making it big because you are in a football field from you know from far away. We want people to be able to see it, you know. So we're making it go out a little bit further than maybe the what they used to in the in the 50s. But we're dramatic here, all right. We love the drama. Nice and smooth line. And say you mess up, doesn't matter. Take a Q-tip and maybe uh, go along where you messed up and try to get that off. So there we go, we see the difference, we see it there. Okay, my eyes look completely different now just because that little wing I added on there. Okay, we're almost done. We got mascara, of course, because you have to have mascara. So I, I like the Rimmel brand for, you know, just a store brand mascara. If you do want to go name brand, nice quality, Clinique is my favorite. I love Clinique. And but everyone has their favorite. You know, I know some people that like that uh, pink and green bottle, that Great Lash stuff. Really cheap, but works really well. That's how I feel about this Rimmel. It's like $6 a tube maybe, and does a fantastic job. Sorry for my awkward putting eyeliner on face, or putting mascara on face. You know, I think it's a habit. I look like a fish. That's okay. I'll look great in the end. So I got a little sponge there, so I'm just gonna go in and fix it with my finger. It's best to get it off when it's wet, you know, or you can take a Q-tip, kind of lick the Q-tip and kind of roll it off, and you wanna roll it away from where you're going. Um, and so since I went in with my finger there and I took some of my eyeshadow off, I'm just gonna go back in and fix it. Um, and it's okay to make mistakes, you know, it happens. So I like to apply, apply two coats of mascara on the top and then at the bottom, we're gonna go really, really light, okay? So it doesn't, I don't wanna, I want you to put mascara on so I can see your bottom lashes, but I don't want you to put so much on that it looks like you're wearing eyeliner on the bottom, okay? So it's the aesthetic of wearing only eyeliner on the top instead of on the bottom, but we still wanna see those lashes. We still wanna see your whole eye, okay? Now I'm going with the lipstick. This isn't the lipstick you will be using, but it's a, you know, red, so we're gonna make a nice defined lip, okay? And you know, take that lip brush and really, you know, focus on that Cupid's bow, um, getting inside the line like that, and rub it all in. Can never go wrong with a bold red lip. All right, obviously I'm liking it. There she is, okay. There it is, a little closer look. So it's pretty simple, you guys, okay? Don't overthink it and practice it, why not? Thank you so much, you're all awesome. Let me know if you have questions, please and thank you.